Hello, I was asked to provide some information on setting up online exams. Um, here's some information on how we set up exam two in statics in the spring. So uh, notice in content, there's a folder, um, exam two info, and there was an intro doc which gave some guidelines and some equations. There's an exam prep website and then a PDF document about that exam, online exam. So all of these are open. And then this is getting into the actual exam itself. So we have an exam to honor statement, which is a checklist. And that exam to honor statement just said, I agree to neither give nor receive any help on this exam. So there's some information in here. And students, once they check it, they've completed this honor statement activity or this checklist. And then one of the things that you'll have in this checklist is also a completion summary of who completed that honor statement and when. This was actually really nice during the exam because I could go in and I could see who was incomplete, who hadn't actually started that honor statement, so who hadn't gotten started yet. Once they've finished that honor statement, then this folder or module, exam two, opened up. So this exam two module was hidden. There was a due date on it. And you could only see it if you had completed the checklist. And I had also had it set so that if you'd actually finished the exam, you wouldn't be able to come back in here and see these prompts. For the final, we decided to go away from that second condition. So here's the quiz for the exam two multiple choice questions. Uh, it has a due date, start time, end time, all condition, and you have to have completed that checklist. So it's kind of like a double whammy there. It's hiding within a folder. Also, you have to have completed the checklist. I didn't have quizzes up at the top here, so the only way into that quiz was through this folder. Next was the PDF of the exam question with the checklist condition. And then exam two, question two was the assignment or Dropbox. And in order for that Dropbox to open up, you had to have visited the question statement. So you go to the statement, you do the work, and then this opens. Same thing here. Here's your next question. Again, question two, question three, these are living inside this folder with the conditional release. There's your next assignment box. And then once the multiple choice was done, exam two was submitted, exam two question three was submitted, then they got access to this web page that told them that everything had been completed. All right, so a couple of things in there, setting up a checklist, setting up conditional releases, so this is back in the Mackey Shared Practices. I don't have any students in here, but even with, I do have checklists up here, but even without that, you can create a new checklist right inside the content. And the title would be something like honor statement, save, and then your list. So your list could be, so this could just say honor statement again. And then the task is, I agree to neither give nor receive help. I'm completing my own work. I understand that this must be completed by 5 p.m. You know, you can add whatever you want for these statements, and students will not um, complete the checklist until all of these things have been um, checked off. Okay. So that's how you can create an honor statement in content. Um, can make it visible. 
All right. Now, if I go back to the exam module, um, I can uh, add a submodule. So this one's going to be exam is here. And when I click on this submodule, okay, now I can add dates and restrictions, including creating a release condition. And this release condition can be a completed checklist of the honor statement. Okay. So once you've completed that checklist, you can get access to the material in that module. Uh, there are other conditions that you can create. If you have multiple um, sections, you can have section enrollment. So you could have, um, you could have a group A um, exam that they'd have access to, or you could have a group B section exam. Um, so there's different group enrollments or sections or um, you can use conditional releases there as well. Okay. Uh, if you wanted to create a link to an existing um, quiz without having people be able to see it from the quiz, you know, if you don't have quizzes listed up here, you can get to them from existing activities quizzes, or you can create a new quiz right here within the content. So you've got a lot of options in there. Hope that helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.